Hi guys, Kennedy the Tech here. Today I'll take you through how to use PowerPoint Mix and its powerful features in adding narrations to your PowerPoint presentation. So thank you and welcome. Let's dig in. So in this video we're going to talk about PowerPoint Mix and uh, have a demonstration on how PowerPoint Mix uh, works. So uh, the first thing first you need to have in, uh, uh, installed uh, PowerPoint Mix like the one I have here on my screen. So you can see it is embedded within my PowerPoint file. And now the next thing I need to do is to go right ahead and click on slide recording. Let's see how we can be able to add a narration uh, to our, rec our PowerPoint uh, file. So I'm going to click on the slide recording right now. So after clicking, so we'll be recording each slide differently. And then at the end of the day, I will be able to now compile all the recordings. We will compile the recordings into one video. So that is what you're going to be doing today. So after clicking the record slide, this is the screen that you're able to get. And uh, this screen here, we have the record button. If I'm ready, I'll click on record and the stop button. Then we have the previous slide, previous animation. Next animation, next slide. Then you can have also a place where you can review uh, your recordings and see whether they add up or not. You also have the option of deleting a recording. If you're not content with a particular recording, this button here will be active for you to be able to delete. Then the slide notes here will help you to organize your narration very well so that uh, you don't forget the key points. The slide notes here, they'll only appear to you uh, who is uh, uh, doing the narration. You can see the way it comes, it's popping up. This is how it will appear to you while you are doing the narration. It will not appear to in the video that will compile. So this is just to guide you on the key points so that you do not forget your flow uh, in the presentation. So on my far left here, I have a place where I can uh, uh, activate my video. Right now, it's, this, it's no camera you can see. But if I click on camera, like let me click this one, you will see my uh, video there. You can see me very well. So, but now I choose not to have that. Let me just remain, uh, let the thumbnail remain. And then the microphone here is vibrating, which tells me that it is working accordingly. It is okay. And then the inking here is to allow you to annotate your screen. And I'll demonstrate that one in a while. So you can pick a color, you can erase using that rubber. So let me click on the record button immediately so that we can see what happens. So, there we are. So that is the record button. You can see it is counting. So it, right now it is already uh, counting. So the narration has begun. So I can just click here on my next animation and start talking. So I can say today we are talking about PowerPoint mix. So you can see already I have done my annotation uh, with a blue color. So I'm going to the next animation and it is still recording. Microsoft Office is a relatively new uh, software product that allows you so you can narrate over your slide like i'm reading right now and then i can go to the next and say what is powerpoint what powerpoint enables you to do number one you can be able to create video lessons similar to those published by Khan academy secondly you can post powerpoint files with built-in quiz questions and feedback so you can see the way i'm doing the narration and then uh, create voiceovers for your PowerPoint slide. Uh, save your mix files into OneDrive. And finally, track students' progress. So you can see here, under my next animations, it is inactive, which means I've finished all the animations in my current slide. So I don't go to the next slide. I come here and click on Stop. So after clicking stop now, you can be able, uh, you can also delete all the inkings and the annotations. And then now you can click stop very, very comfortably. Okay. So now that you have clicked stopped, 
you can come here and preview the slide recording you can see preview here so i can decide to preview and uh, it will yeah. begin playing so that is the record button you can see it is counting so it right now it is already uh counting so the narration has begun so i can just click here on my next animation and start talking so i can say today we are talking about powerpoint mix so you can see already i have done my annotation uh, with a blue color so i'm going to the next animation and it is still recording microsoft office okay that is a small video on the what i've already done on that slide so what i can i'm going to do now i'm going to click on the next slide button here there we are so i'm on the next slide so let me click on the next animation which will bring me the first animation on that slide there it is system requirements so i'll come back and go back and then i do it afresh so now i'm going again now to record for this particular slide so i'm pressing record so i'll say now in this lesson we are going to talk about system requirements next slide next animation any standard computer is very capable of uh, of installing and using powerpoint mix for this slide i think i have slide notes here you see there they are only visible to me i can now be able to look at them and say uh and comment out and read about all these i can say what uh the computer can be able to do uh the computer should be able to have two gigahertz uh, memory of two gb so i can read through all these uh, uh, uh notes without them being displayed uh in the video so let me uh click there so that i inactivate them and then i click on that one uh let me stop recording okay okay there we are so i'm going again now to the next slide i'm almost there let me see the first animation getting started good so now i'll, I'll go to the previous animation and then i begin now recording in this slide we are going to deal with uh how to get started with powerpoint mix on clicking the slide recording button the recording window uh should appear uh like that so that is how the recording window appears so you have the opportunity to see the various aspects of your recording so uh, i'm through with the animations on that slide so i should stop and then i continue now uh to my next slide it's a goodbye slide it's a goodbye slide so um uh let me look at what is happening on the other end uh, finally this it's empty so let me go back and let me just do a small narration on this uh current slide here uh okay it doesn't really have any 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 whatever any animation so i i might not really do a recording on this slide so basically this is how you do your narration and uh, since i am through now i can easily i can come here and close i can click the close button so i've already closed uh let me delete this uh, extra extra slide uh extra slide delete delete yeah delete slide so now what i need to do i need to come here to uh what you call export export to video you see this button this is the button that will export my my presentation into a video so i'm going to click export and then this pen here will guide me so i have many options i can export it to 10 um uh 80 pixels which will be a full high density or high definition video which will be high quality but it will be bigger in size so i normally love to go with the 720 uh that is it and then uh i wanted to pay attention to seconds spent on each slide is five now these are seconds that uh, the video will take on slides that we did not have any recording on like the final slide it will only be displayed for five seconds in the video and uh, that will be it so next again uh, so let me click on next so next uh, 
asks me where do I want to save my PowerPoint video in MP4 format. So I'm going to say um, PowerPoint mix MP4. That's okay. So I'll click on save. And then uh, what will happen is that uh, depending on the size of the video, uh, the conversion will begin. So you can see the conversion here is uh, beginning the export to video and it will take, uh, depending on how long your video was, uh, it, will, it will depend. So if your video was long, the export process will also take a bit longer. If the video was short, it will take a shorter time. And also, um, if you chose a higher quality like a 1080, it will also take longer time. But 720, I like it because it is standard and it can be used across the board. So let's look at what we have done in our recording. There we are. So that is the record button. You can see it is counting. So it, right now it is already uh, counting. So the narration has begun. So I can just click here on my next animation and start talking. So I can say today we are talking about PowerPoint mix. So you can see already I have done my annotation uh, with a blue color. So I'm going to the next animation and it is still recording. Microsoft Office is a relatively new uh, software product that allows you so you can narrate over your slide like i'm reading right now and then i can go to the next and say what is powerpoint what powerpoint enables you to do number one you can be able to create video lessons similar to those published by Khan academy secondly you can post powerpoint files with built-in quiz questions and feedback so you can see the way i'm doing the narration and then uh, create voiceovers for your PowerPoint slide. Uh, save your mix files to OneDrive. And finally, track students' progress. So you can see here, under my next animations, it is inactive, which means I've finished all the animations in my current slide. So I don't go to the next slide. I come here and click on Stop. So after clicking stop now, you can be able, uh, you can also delete all the inkings and the annotations and then now you can click stop very, very comfortably. So I'm pressing record. So I'll say now in this lesson, we are going to talk about system requirements. Next slide, next animation. Any standard computer is very capable of uh, of installing and using PowerPoint mix for this slide I think I have slide notes here you see there they are only visible to me I can now be able to look at them and say uh, and comment out and read about all these I can say what uh, the computer can be able to do uh, the computer should be able to have two gigahertz uh, memory of 2 GB so I can read through all these uh, 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 notes without them being displayed uh, in the video. So let me uh, click there so that I inactivate them and then I click on that one. Uh, let me stop recording. recording. In this slide, we are going to deal with uh, how to get started with PowerPoint Mix. On clicking the slide recording button, the recording window uh, should appear uh like that so that is how the recording window appears so you have the opportunity to see the various aspects of your recording so uh, i'm through with the animations on that slide so i should stop screen recording screen recording allows you to capture the activities that are happening on your desktop screen and as much as it helps you to capture the activities, it also uh, captures not only whatever you are doing, but also it can be able to capture your voice. So you can actually narrate your over your actions on your screen. Uh, for example, when you're creating a video to show maybe how to perform a particular task on your computer, the screen recording is very key. So I'm going to demonstrate how 
maybe to do an excel formula like the sum function in uh, excel using my powerpoint uh, screen recording so i'm going to click on the screen recording and i'm going to select after this you need to select the area in which you want to record your screen so uh, automatically you must have a screen behind you so this is the area i want to uh, have my screen recording there it is so i need to record these actions that i'll be doing on my uh, excel sheet so click on recording once you're ready uh, the recording is here for me on this side so i'm clicking up here and it will count you can see it is counting one two three there it is so now you can demonstrate so uh, if you want to get the sum uh, you can use the uh, sum function by me you begin by the equal sign and then type the sum function and then open the bracket select the range and then close the bracket and then you press enter you can see already you have the sum and on the address bar here on the formula bar you have the full um, function uh, that gives us this answer so what i can do next is to simply copy my formula so i will copy downwards like that and you can see i also have the formula and the results the same thing i can do if i need to get the totals for every subject for english for math and kiswahili so i'll just come here do the same thing i'll say equals to begin with an equal sign and then sum then open the brackets drag over the range and then you close the brackets and then you press enter so you can see if i click on the same cell uh, my on the address bar here on the form on the far on the formula bar you can see that uh, uh, the function the function is clear so now i need to copy it to the other subjects so there is this small square button here i'll press it and drag over and that is it so that is how you perform uh, Excel functions. So I have stopped my first uh, uh, recording. I have stopped the, the video recording. So you can see already what is happening. Uh, the moment you, you press stop, the screen recorded uh, video uh, pops up into it automatically inserts itself into any of your slides. So you can see my video here. So if I click on play, sum function by me you begin by the equal sign and then type the sum function and then open the bracket select the range and then close the bracket and then you press enter uh, the function the function is clear so now I how you perform uh, Excel functions okay so that is how you use your screen uh, recording that is how you are supposed to use your screen recording it's as uh, simple as that so um, and then something else you may need to learn how to use is also how you're supposed to use a screenshot with a screenshot you you can screen capture uh, the events of your screen for example i would want to have um, uh, maybe uh, an image about farm machinery so let me come here click screen screenshot then you pick on screen clipping so i want this is not the screen i want let me pick the one that i want yeah so this is the one i'm going to pick on the on my, with my powerpoint so let me come back again here click screenshot and then i click screen uh clipping uh sorry about that let me do it again screenshot uh screenshot and then i click screen clipping yes so i will i will have to drag over this area and choose the area that i want to screen capture so i can click and drag as you can see like that i click and drag until maybe somewhere like there and then i release immediately i release the image that i've just uh screen captured comes into my slide one of my slide and this one here it has come on my first slide so that is how you use the screen uh shot or the screen uh, uh screenshot or screen capture feature in your uh, powerpoint mix so thank you very much
I hope the video was of help to you. Feel free to click the subscribe link button below there. Like and share and even comment. Thank you very much.